of the tube. I hope this is streaming. It should be. And it looks like we are. We're ready to go. How's everybody doing? The show has started. All 332 of you. Wow. It's pretty good. Um, even with YouTube not liking me lately. Puppy Hank's sitting here with me. He's watching the stream. I hope all you guys are having an excellent weekend. Um, Bitcoin's starting the weekend off good. Can you guys see Puppy Hank doing extremely excellent? I mean, we have broken back above 40K, and altcoins are, of course, doing oops, extremely well, too. Juno up number one, seven days over 60%. Quant up 46%. Leo up 43%. Tezos 34 Maker 29 24 hours. We got a bunch of other coins as well. What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Nice to see all you guys. What's up, everybody? So, yeah, I'm sure you've seen the title of this, you know, Bitcoin Pump. Can we trust this or is this a final trap? Is this a, an exit liquidity whale trap trying to get you know, the markets bullish so they can pull the rug one more time? Well, we're going to go through both options. Hank, you got to go, buddy. I know you want to hang out. We're going to go through both options, you guys, um, to see, you know, what really is going to happen with Bitcoin um, throughout the month of February. And I got some, you know, good arguments for both bearish and bullish cases. Hey, hey what's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome. It's good to see y'all. So let's get right into the content, you guys. So, yeah, if we look at, you know, the 24-hour chart, I mean, it's bullish as can be. We jumped from below 37,000. We were going down to the, you know, 36 levels that look, you know, kind of bearish there for a while. And then, boom, baby, just over the past, you know, few hours, we've broken above 40K um, and smashed through some key resistance levels. Hey, Perro Loco! I got a Perro Loco right here with me. Thank you so much for the tip, man. Appreciate that. But um, you expand out the chart a little bit over the past two weeks, and yeah, Bitcoin is the highest it's been over the past two weeks. Um, earlier, you know, we were close to 38,000. Um, so things are looking good on that time scale as well. And with this current pump above 40,000, we're actually breaking out of a six-month downtrend, descending pattern. Um, this was posted, I don't know by which user, but as you can see, you know, with the pump, we have broken out of that. Of course, it wouldn't have been nice if we rejected off that blue trend line and went down, but we have broken out. But it's not... We're not out of the clear yet, you guys. So we got to look at both sides of the coin, of course, you know. Um, as we can see right here, just um, January 20th, we were above 43,000. As right now, we're at 41. If we get above, you know, this level here, I mean, things are going to look good, in my opinion. 41,000, we get above, things are going to look good. And I'm not the only one who's really thinking that, you guys. So, A. Will Clemente, he tweeted, Diagonal lines are pretty much a meme. Oh, hating on this guy's TA. Key resistance is still 41K. Close above that and we can start eyeing confluence of yearly open and STH realized price around 47K. One step at a time. Hey, Echo Leaf, much love right back to you, man. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate your tip. So, bigger traders out there, you guys. Um, Will Clemente, he's very popular on Twitter. He's very popular across the airwaves. He's saying 41K. If we can get above 41K and hold it, then our next step up should be up to 47K. And Willie Wu, another big analyst on chain, he recently tweeted, price in relation to on-chain demand from both speculative and hodl category of investors are now both at peak oversold levels. The last time this happened was October 2020. The time before that was at the bottom of the COVID crash. So now if we check out this chart, which was actually posted by Will Clement, a, um, January 31st, five days ago, 
those not those dates that will Willy Woo talk, talked about they match up with this oversell so here recently we've been in a buy zone you know the dormancy adjusted flow for Bitcoin has been in a buy zone you know one of the last times was COVID crash and then he also said the time before that was January 2015 and before that was February 2012 January 2015 around February 2012 so yes, Bitcoin is in the oversold category and we have broken out, out of that oversell as of right now. But this is pretty big in my opinion, you guys. So Pentoshi, he has been pretty spot on with the markets over the past year and a half, year, year and a half, I would say. He was recently bearish, extremely bearish, and he called the crash down from 64K. He got bearish, and um, now he has flipped from bearish to bullish. So that's a pretty good sign. This guy's a pretty good trader. He said in the next two weeks, El Salvador and their president should be submitting legislation for the Bitcoin volcano bonds. Samson Mao said we could expect a $1 billion bond to be finalized as of this month. February guys so that is pretty freaking big in my opinion you know February's here and um, we're gonna have a 1 billion dollar Bitcoin bond the first one in history from a country coming out and Pintoshi he ends it with bonds plus volcano mining equal game theory with the dominoes going hmm pretty dang interesting but now we got to look at you know what's happening more on the um, leverage side of things so alex moskovsky he tweeted bitcoin short liquidations are starting to roll in and yes as we can see with the price going up liquidations are happening big time across the board and if we look at bybt i should just refresh this to see how much we are getting liquidated by um yeah, I mean, over $182 million in shorts. It's one of the biggest short liquidation candle we've had since December, um, early December. So, I mean, yeah, shorts did get liquidated. And this is a short squeeze. I mean, in my opinion, and many other traders' opinions, including Will, I mean, these markets are driven by leverage as of right now. They have been for a while. So when there is money to be made, you know, with a short squeeze, a short squeeze happens. When there's a lot of money to be made with a long squeeze, a long squeeze happens. And the longs get, you know, trashed. And yeah, that's what we're seeing, you guys, is Bitcoin um, rocketing up to liquidate a lot of the shorts that were set, you know, 33 to 35K. Um, make sure I haven't missed any of your tips. Chico, the man with the sick old pics, yo. Thanks for the knowledge. No problem, TP. Thank you so much for the tip. I appreciate that. Um, But, you know, we got to look at, of course, you know, all these signals, right, I've been talking about. This has been bullish, you guys. I mean, pretty dang bullish. You know, this isn't... We can trust this Bitcoin pump with all the stuff I've talked about. But now we got to look at the other side of the coin. I mean, can is this a trap, you know? Because we have some pretty interesting things coming this month. I've already talked about this one. Um, it's possible that it was even coming this week. But next week, it's more likely. Um, the Biden administration is to release an executive order on crypto as early as February. So what is this ex executive order going to consist of? Well, it's going to consist of reports from large um, government agencies like the SEC, uh, Financial Act, Crime, oh, what are they? Financial Action Task Force or something like that. And, you know, CFTC. Um, and they're going to be coming, you know, with what they think crypto should be regulated as. I mean, this could be bullish. This could be bearish. It's hard to really know what's going to happen. I mean, this is an election year. If they were to release an executive order that was extremely heavy on crypto regulations, not fair. <coughs> Democrats could, you know, be in big trouble, you guys. Big trouble for the elections. I am not personally sure that that is going to happen, you know, because they don't. Crypto is is pretty heavy, you know. They can move 
a lot of influence within politics pretty quickly. Um, as we've seen what happens with legislation getting past that, you know, goes after crypto within, you know, days we have people that are fighting it and there's even people within government that understand the um, benefits of cryptocurrency so i don't think it's going to be that heavy but it's possible you guys so we can't you know not think about that we gotta think about that and then there is the possibility of interest rate hikes coming as soon as march i mean it's possible we get an announcement that it's coming so Bank of Canada has announced that they're going to hold their interest rates for now, but signals that hikes are to come. This is exactly what America did just in January a week and a half ago. Um, we had the first FOMC meeting. Hank, stop. We had the first FOMC meeting and um, everyone was thinking it might be a little more, you know, hawkish than, you know, what came out. Um, maybe interest rates were going to be announced, but just like the Bank of Canada, um, the United States was like, we're going to hold them where they are for now, and it's possible we might be signaling here in the near future. But here's the signal that we may be getting at the next one, announcement of rate hike, or possibly even a rate hike, you guys. So, BOE, the Bank of England, you know, America and England are pretty tight, you know. They announced um, a rate hike. The second one coming, um, I, what, was it this year? Or the second one within like six months. And they've raised it um, to 0.5%. You know, it's not like they're raising it 1% or above. It's a small hike, but still they are hiking. And four of their officials actually voted for a bigger increase. And the reason was to tame inflation. So, over in Europe, they are starting to signal rate hikes. Our brothers up north in Canada, hey, okay, they are doing what America is doing, saying, we're going to hold them where they are for now, but we're going to, you know, maybe here in the future, we're going to see what inflation does. And, um, yeah, so it's possible we go either way, you guys. So, when is the next, you know, Fed meeting? When is the next one that's going to happen? Well, it is March 15th through the 16th. So we got a full month of February, you know, and then half of March before we get the next, you know, announcement from the Fed. And I mean, when we get the initial um, statistics for inflation that come out um, for January, which we should be getting them here soon, to see how much inflation has risen here in January, and then after in February, that's going to be a big decider of what the Fed is going to do. If inflation is, you know, not starting to bubble, then I don't think the Fed is going to, you know, jump and raise rates in March or announce a raise in March. Um, probably will delay until May and possibly even June, which will be bullish for the markets overall. Stocks, crypto, Bitcoin, everything. Although this is kind of weird, you guys, what's going on, you know, in the stock market. So the stocks are actually down today. Um, Dow Jones is down to today. S&P was down today, or actually now it's up. Um, but the NASDAQ was up. But over the past, you know, year to date, stocks are down pretty significantly um, in terms of, you know, stock percentages. 5% for the year since January 1st for the Dow. Um, S&P is down 6.81%. And um, the NASDAQ is down even harder, almost 12%, 11.89%. Appreciate your tips, Sudar. Am I planning to do a video on Lyra? It looks dope. Team is solid. Yeah, um, Lyra was one of my recent picks. Um, not planning content. I don't plan my altcoin content at all, so... Possibly, man. Appreciate your tip. Um, and me ween Zek. Hey, man. Thank you so much for your work. Keep keep going, but also take good care of yourself. I am, man. Thank you so much. Greetings from Germany. What's up, my German brother? And thank you for the 20-euro tip, man. But regarding this, you know, stocks are down. Stocks are down pretty significantly. Not high up today. But um, crypto is up, you know, well, it doesn't make sense to me. And there was a great comment on Reddit from an AB11292 who said this, I'll be honest, I'm confused. Equities are mostly flat. The VIX is up. 
10 year bond is raging, oil is raging, DXY is green, crypto should not be up. So unless this level holds, I'm convinced and could, I'm not convinced and could be just a scam exit liquidity pump from the whales. Now, like I said, this is possible, it's a trap, you know? Whales have a lot of um, crypto assets, you know? And they do need some relief rallies in a bear downtrend to get the most bang for their buck. And this has happened before, you guys. So, 2017, you know, we double topped out January. And then, in Fe we went down pretty significantly from January. Went down from 18,000 down to 6,000 at the low. And in the month of February, guys, we had a relief rally. Up to, to back up to top of nearly 12,000, you guys. So there was a relief rally in between that time. And it all happened in February. It began in February. Here we are once again in February, you guys. So is this, you know, the fake pump scam relief rally for February? And then we're going to go back down like they did. And then they had another relief rally in April. But down, down, down. It was just a bear market complete bear market so again you guys there is a possibility that this is a exit liquidity you know a little pump we may be in the bear market still but in my personal opinion i don't think so i mean i'm hoping for the last two raw i've been saying the last two raw is coming for a while and um yeah i think bitcoin is going to break out so now it's time to get into a little bit of crypto altcoin content. So a lot of drama going on with this, you guys. And I can't wait to get into this news for you guys because it's really good. I mean, Tyler's research skills are coming to shine the limelight once again. So GameStop announced a partnership with Immutable X. Yes, yes, the Layer 2 NFT solution. And um, this comes from GameStop as well. This is a PR release from GameStop, the company, you guys. Alessio Orlando. Hey, Chico, already heard about Mute. Mute.io. They've partnered with Lincoln Uni. Coming ZK Narrative. Could be interesting. What do I think? Hey, Alessio, I take altcoin questions very end of the stream, man. I appreciate your tip, but I just don't want to get bogged down with questions while I'm in the middle of the content. So yeah, GameStop and Immutable. But there, you know, was a, of course a pump. This is Immutable's chart over the past seven days. It went from a low January 30th of 251 all the way up above $4 at the peak yesterday. But as we can see, whoo, it has fallen and fallen and fallen hard. So what is going on? Well, Apoca actually talks about this, and he said, Today in crypto, GameStop received a grant from Immutable on the sum of 100 million, about 100 million on signing the partnership, and goes on to immediately dump 30 million on Huobi, OKX, and Binance. Proof is on chain. That's the beauty of on chain, you guys. Um, you can see what happens. So, yeah, GameStop actually took some profits. They said, okay, we're getting, you know, these tokens. Well, we're going to get cash for them. So, that's not a good look, you know, necessarily for Immutable or GameStop. You know, they got a lot of people hyped with the partnership and then an immediate dump. Now, a lot of people, or actually, if we go into the SCC documentation, we can see the milestone. Milestone number one, they get over nearly 30 million IMX just for the sales and grant agreement and then within the token grant of 9 million that's just for the PR release getting released so there's you know some little bit kind of scary stuff going on wouldn't you say oh, there. now a lot of people are going to be asking what about GameStop and Loopring what about GameStop and Loopring I thought Loopring was their partner you guys well, let's see what really is going on. So within the SEC filing with the Immutable X and GameStop partnership, there is something about marketing and other commitments. It says within there, GameStop will use Immutable X as their first layer two NFT integration for trading and minting other than loop ring. 
And then it says this right below that. GameStop will not integrate any other blockchain protocol other than Ethereum Layer 1 and Loop Ring into their NFT marketplace without first having integrated Immutable. Hmm, so Loop Ring is actually mentioned as a partner, you guys. They're saying other than Loop Ring, Ethereum Layer 1 and Loop Ring. So Loop Ring isn't out of the equation, you guys. And here's what's interesting, what happened right when this news came out, you guys. Daniel Wang, the Daniel Wanger man, he is the CEO of Loop Ring. On the day of the Immutable X announcement, Daniel Wang decided to step down. Put that on silent. Yeah, Daniel Wang, the CEO, decided to step down. Now, why would he do that? Why the reason, you know, for a step down of the CEO right on the day of an announcement with GameStop. And it's usually, I mean, usually that happens is because there's a shakeup at the company and something else is taking over. Someone might have acquired, possibly. Well, this was actually caught um, by some people on Twitter. And it's a guy asking Daniel Ring, is there a specific reason he left Loop Ring after, you know, the announcement was out? And Daniel Wang actually replied. He said, I'm good at creating something from zero to one, but I do not excel at continuous improvements. Steve is a better fit for the CEO role. I also have too much power in the Loop Ring team. Most people do not debate with me as I expected, which made me a single point of failure. It's time for me to yield my decision-making power to the team. Besides, Loop Ring will hit an important milestone in terms of partnerships and user acquisition, but I cannot comment for legal reasons. Hmm, no legal reason coming. What is going on? Well, this was actually put out from Byron. He is part of the Loop Ring team. And he said, explanation on why, you know, the CEO just ducks out, Daniel Wang. And Byron replied, there is still information that is not yet public. As I said earlier, more will make sense later. Hmm. What could be making sense? And then Byron of Loop Ring also posted this just yesterday. You cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. A very, very cryptic tweet, you guys, um, regarding connecting the dots so let's try and connect some of those dots you guys do some dot connecting kishro said dude hey 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 chico bro just a quick one what's happening with ndx and mist i don't know man i haven't looked into that appreciate your tip though hey guys i take altcoin questions very into the stream i'm getting a lot of altcoin questions what do I think about Casper Network? Again, you guys, wait till the end of the stream for questions about altcoins. Elijah R. Rays, if I may ask, what will your bear market strategy be, whether it happens unexpectedly or after a final cycle top? Um, well, we may already be in the bear market, and my strategy is not doing well. I've been waddling most of my crypto like I'm a butt bunch, so... And then Scotty P Crypto, one test result left, but they're not too worried about it. However, De Vries cancer free. Congratulations, Scotty. That's the best news. Baraches. Thanks to all of you for your support, love, and friendship. Bullish on F Cancer Token. Much love to the Chico Army. Five year road trip starts 3 1. That sounds so amazing, brother. Narad, you love. What up, brother? Ripping a six foot bong in your honor, home slice. And then I'm buying a billion RLC up in this bitch. Woo! Whoa, man, that's crazy. So now let's connect the dots, you guys. So, Wall Street Journal actually put out an article here recently, not recently, but within um, the past month or two. Um, and it said this, you guys. So, GameStop. It, well, they went into the GameStop NFT stuff, and then they had a talk with GameStop and some of their executives, and this is what they said within the article. GameStop is also is close to signing partnerships with 
two crypto companies to share technology and co-invest in the development of games that use blockchain and NFT technology, as well as other NFT-related projects, people said. And then they also said, retailer expects to enter into similar agreements with a dozen or more crypto companies and invest tens of millions of dollars into them this year. So, two crypto companies are actually on their radar, you guys. It's not just Immutable X. There's another one that they're close to signing a partnership with. Could that be Loop Ring? Well, in my opinion, yes, probably. So, on the loopring.org red subreddit, um, they're talking a lot about this. And um, one person posted this, that Immutable X is basically like eBay. While Loopring is the PayPal of this. So Immutable X is the marketplace, while Loopring is going to be the roll up, verifying all the transactions, payments, and whatnot for the partnership, for the, the entire solution for NFTs for GameStop. And this is very interesting, you guys. We got to listen to this. So this was all the way back in February of 2021. Even before Loop Ring or GameStop announced their NFT marketplace, this was Loop Ring and um, Immutable X talking on Bankless about, you know, scaling solutions. And this pretty much gives me a hint that it's possible this is what's happening. Clear, Robbie, you are going with a ZK roll up type solution in the same yeah. way that, that Matt's team is with Loop Ring. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Um... I think we use slightly different providers. I think um, Loopring, do you guys use Meta Labs? Um, we use ourselves. Um, Loopring uh, proto protocol was the first ZK rollup um, as of 14 months ago. So that's that's our kind of provider. That's why I was kind of saying we're a bit of a there different beast. We're a bit of a different beast. Like yeah, we yeah, yeah. operate across the stack. But yeah, it's, uh, yeah. no hard feelings. <laughs> So that's Matt Feinstone. He was on Loop Ring back then, but he is now on GameStop. Basically, he's saying, you know, we're a little bit different as we are our own, you know, layer. Um, while, you know, back then, um, of course, you know, Immutable X has been using a different provider for their ZK rollup solution. So let's continue. No, no, no. Very cool. Very cool. I'm sorry I didn't know that. I think, um, I mean, creating those groups is bloody hard. That's why that's yeah. how we partnered there. And um, ultimately, I see there's a few layers of the stack here. There's proof providers. There's a protocol on top of that. So I, I almost call that like uh, an AWS infrastructure right down the bottom, which is clearly what you guys are providing. And then you have okay, well, what networks or products are built on top of that? And then you have applications. Then you have OpenSea, SuperRare, marketplaces, games, um, which sit on top of that protocol. Um, so we went for this level. We said we don't need to make the, the magic maths. Um, I, I don't think we wanted to do that. Uh, and and, and there's a real need. Exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah. So basically what he's saying is there's a layer like ZK rollups, the initial layer, loop ring. Then there's a layer right here, you know, that builds the networks that marketplaces can sit on top of. You know, Immutable X is the middle layer. You have bottom, loop ring, and then top, you have marketplaces like in GameStop's NFT marketplace. And then there is this. This was actually posted on August 18th of 2021. This was from Immutable X. It says, Immutable X, the first layer two scaling solution for NFTs on Ethereum, utilizes Starkware's Validium and ZK rollup technology. So they're using Starkware and ZK rollup technology. Is it possible that Immutable X will be sitting on top of Loop Ring? Uh-oh. Why'd that go wrong? So there is this as well, you guys. Um, Matthew Feinstone. He actually said um, a thank you letter to Loop Ring when he left for GameStop. And this was what was said from Matthew. He said he is going to remain as an advisor for Loop Ring. So even though he's still with GameStop, he is advising Loop Ring. He said, I will remain as an advisor for Loop Ring, and not just the symbolic kind, but the real kind. I still hold LRC, own Equity and Loop Ring Technology Limited, and look forward to remaining part of Loop Ring's bright future. 
So Loop Ring Technology Limited is, you know, the main company behind, you know, the Loop Ring blockchain, everything. Is it possible that GameStop partnered or acquired with them? I do think so. And of course, yeah, head of blockchain at GameStop, Matthew. But he also still has Loop Ring ZK Rollup Technology in his headline. All right, guys, and one of the final things I want to talk about regarding crypto is this is kind of necessarily like, I don't know if it's good or is it bad, you guys. So MakerDAO, the big old MakerDAO company, they actually um, announced a grant research, you know, for KY, KYC and AML compliance with the DAI token. So it's not necessarily you know, being implemented, it is just a research project, but they are announcing possible KYC and AML through DAI, you know, which is supposed to be the decentralized stablecoin of Ethereum. Um, is this good? I don't think so. Um, a lot of you may think, you know, other, but I don't want to see KYC, AML on the protocol layer of DAI. Just does, isn't good to me. Hey, Tim Fum. What's up, man? Thank you for the tip. Appreciate that. And I think uh, that's about it for, you know, my regular content for the good day. Um, but now we are on to some people's, you know, favorite part of the episode. Um, some people don't like it. A lot of people usually drop out. Don't drop out. Stay with me because the questions actually do have really good um, content within it. You know, I try to answer everything as, you know, honestly and tip top shape as possible. Um, but remember, you guys, this is not financial advice. It's just me answering questions regarding altcoins. Um, do not take my answers and go, you know, <laughs> trade based off of that. I'm not a financial ex expert, advisor or anything of the like. Let's get into it, guys. Got some questions for me? Hey, what's up? Your Chico neighbor says hi. Hey, what's up, Kilo TA Crypto? You're from Chico? Pocket Network. My thoughts? I love Pocket Network. There's no doubt about that. I um, want to run a node here soon. I've been looking to run a node. I just haven't had time. Hey, Chico, do I have picks for Metaverse projects? I actually talked about um, a few here recently. Um, one of the main ones, I mean the OG, I mean creating a Metaverse and creating the technology for it is difficult, you guys. I mean, it's not easy to just spin up a game and all of a sudden you're going to create that game within six months. Decentraland has been working on theirs for a long time. It's one of my top Metaverse picks. I hold a good amount of um, Decentraland. But I also talked about one here recently regarding um, more infrastructure. I exec RLC, which is up 11% today. Not bad. Um, yeah, they're going to possibly provide infrastructure for Metaverse projects through decentralized compute. You know, crowdsourcing computing power from everyone. I mean, that's the only way you're going to be able to power Metaverses. You're not going to... I mean, server farms, of course you know, are going to be a portion of that. But um, getting computing power from the millions upon millions, about hundreds of millions of computers out there is going to be one of the e biggest ways to power metaverses across the board. Hey, hey, Rafael Piccolo. Thanks for the tip, man. Hi, do I think bridging BTC to Ethereum or other networks is killing RIF? RIF, is that a token? Is that um, rootstock? Yeah, that's rootstock. Um, I mean, rootstock, they're falling behind, of course. I mean, they're trying to build, you know, a DeFi layer on top of Bitcoin. While, I mean, DeFi is already built out on these other networks, so bringing Bitcoin over to these networks is pretty, you know, 
much easier in my opinion. Uh, but again, security wise, <coughs> it may be better to build on top of Bitcoin because security, proof of work has stood the test of time for a long time and it's probably going to continue to. <coughs> While um, with Bit I mean not Bitcoin, Ethereum and uh, these other EVM based chains, the Turing completeness of them creates large attack surfaces, which we've seen, you know, with the DeFi hacks. One just recently happened on Solana, which I'm probably going to talk about on Sunday. Things are a little bit more shady, interesting than meets the eye. Hey, Trays, thank you for the tip, man. Much love right back. Have I been following Gelato recently? No, I haven't, um, actually. I was hoping they were going to do a airdrop, but they didn't even end up doing that. So I was like, eh, what the heck, guys? But um, they've been doing some pretty big integrations. Automating your smart contracts, a user-friendly way to do that is pretty, pretty big. Casper Network, CSPR, what do I think? ETH 3.0? No. Nah, sorry, man. But, um... I mean, that's just like in 2017 when there was a huge narrative coming around of blockchain 3.0. Um, wasn't the case. Still isn't the case. Are they just a Casper proof of stake before Ethereum? Casper CBC specification. I'd be interested to look into it a little bit more. Appreciate your tip, man. What are my thoughts on climate within the next four years? Good thoughts. That's why I'm still holding all my climate. Um, of course, it's gotten wrecked. As most ohm and ohm based forks did. Freaking coin geckos, the search isn't working lately. Very good. Yeah, it's even getting wrecked harder now. Jeez, Climate, you guys need to turn it around. But there are some big things coming, and I'm going to be holding this one because I do see this being a pretty significant beacon of change for um, carbon sequestering and credits. Chico, how are you feeling about Climate Dow? Um, I'm feeling, yeah, I'm still holding, still extremely bullish on it. Hey, Chico, what are your thoughts on Redacted Cartel, Butterfly, Olympus approved sub Dow? Um, I've seen it. I haven't invested, of course, yet. Up 21% today, not bad. Let's see what the APY is on it. Probably pretty gnarly. 63,000%. That's That just doesn't seem sustainable long for me. Personally. But I, it is approved. Um, Olympus does hold a percentage of the tokens. Hey, Chico. Will I be running a uh, Morpheus Network node? Uh, possibly, you guys. Running nodes and getting them set up is hard to do with the channel. I mean, I wish I had more time to do that type of thing. It's just... Oh, it's a lot of work. Um, I try to do it, um, but uh, yeah, just a lot of time, a lot of um, effort goes into getting those set up, and I create almost daily content, so it's hard to, you know, <laughs> do that type of stuff when I'm literally researching, writing scripts for the entire day um, for tomorrow's content. I mean, I could create a video tutorial on that, but it's probably not going to be do very good, you know, so... I gotta play the YouTube game, especially lately. When I took my break, 
you know, from um, December. I was pretty, you know, down and out, as you guys know. Took a three-week break. My views have not been the same since I got back, like, down significantly. So, um, yeah, I got to <laughs> try to make content that people are going to watch again. Back at it again. Yes, Alessio. Tipping again, man. Thank you. Thoughts on Mute. Mute.io. They're partnered with Union Link. This one will be big during ZK roll-up season. What do I think? Yeah, Mute um, was formerly called... I can't remember. But um, I did a sponsored segment on them a while ago. Another partner with ZK Sync. I'm gonna have to look into that possibly. But yeah, I mean, roll up season is coming. I mean, a lot of these competing blockchains for Ethereum are gonna be washed out, in my opinion, because scaling is coming. It's here. It's actually here. Um, and things are gonna be built on Ethereum and Ethereum layer twos, in my opinion. Hey, Kelly Ortier Crypto. We met a month or two back on Dayton when walking to the pub. Hey, no way. Hope you're doing good, man. We are all behind you no matter what. Great content as always, Tyler. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Oh, walking the pub, not to the pub. Oh, I I remember you, man. Yeah, you were um, driving your truck back home. Yeah, I actually live like pretty dang close to you. That's pretty crazy. Appreciate your tip, man. 20 bucks. Very generous. Hope to see you again, too. Emmanuel Marie. Hey, Chico. Hello from Ottawa, Canada. First of all, thank you for your dedication and passion on your crypto researches. Thank you so much. What do I think of Acoin AKN? By the way, shout out, shout out to the 2022 Truckers Convoy. Yeah, it's pretty cool that they're doing that. What do I think of a coin? A K N. Is this Acon's coin? Bacon and grilled cheesy. Yep, this is Acon's coin. Uh, I don't know. I mean, a celebrity making their own coin. Unlock the hole in me. Instead of trying to find the motive, why do what I do? <laughs> Did I sound like Akon? Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of when celebrities make their own coin. I personally think it's a money grab. Um, when an influencer makes their own coin, you know, I think that's kind of a money grab too. But I mean, he's trying. To, if he's trying to do some things in Africa to help, you know, create crypto economies, more power to him. But I'm I'm not investing personally. Appreciate your tip, Emmanuel Marie. Jr. Glad to see you making content. Of course, man, you're great at it. Thank you. And if you like Metis, you're gonna want to pick up some Metis punks. Metis. Has been doing pretty decent for their um, roll up, up 16% today. Oh, uh, what's the site to check roll ups? Value L2 beat. Oh, they've moved up to number three. They've surpassed optimism. That's just more validation to one of my theories that optimism is going to release a token. As Metis has a token, it's getting caught up. Boba Network has a token. Um, they're close to surpassing optimism, so DYDX has a token. Arbitrum doesn't have a token. It doesn't seem like they need one because they got $2.8 billion. Um, so I do think optimism is eventually going to launch a token. But Metis, Metis punks. I don't know how valuable those are going to be. I mean, we already have CryptoPunks. We have punks on almost every chain, but... 
I'd like to see their own, you know, like, type of NFT that gets, you know, not necessarily a copy of Punk's, you know. Appreciate your tip, JR. User 007. Oh, you son of a bitch. Do you know you can stake Pocket without having a node through Pocket Pool like Rocket Pool for Pocket Network? I did not know they had a Pocket Pool. Pocket Pool. Coming soon, it says. So that's awesome. Maybe I need to pick up my pocket. I've been hoping it was going to drop a little bit more. Probably won't, though. Hey, Riri Gone Wild. Hey, Riri. My girl Riri. I'm going to have Riri on the channel, you guys. Here soon. I'm going to have... Oh, there she is. Speaking of Riri. Um, yeah. So I'm going to have a bunch of crypto babes on the channel here soon. They're um, part of Women in Crypto. And they're also big into the Dotsama ecosystem. Uh, Riri is going to be streaming uh, Moonsama NFT content here soon. She's got her set up, so... That's going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting to have them on the channel and talk crypto. Really excited. Appreciate your tip, Riri. Dope Wars. Marketplace is operational and optimism. Until Starknet, you can create a hustler and customize with various NFTs using paper. Good to see you back, dude. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I need to check it out. I wish I had more time to play blockchain games. Like I said, I need a script writer. I, I know some of you guys sent some content to me. I've just been so busy. Um, I mean, the busyness doesn't stop with me. But uh, Dope Wars, I'm going to have to check it out. They took what um, Loot for Adventures came up with, and they actually executed, you know, while Loot for Adventures kind of... Mm, the freaking main guy, the main guy who created loot kind of ruined it himself. I mean, he had r big hype behind it. If he would have just ran with it and focused his time on that, probably would have been massive. But he screwed the pooch and left the door open for paper. Hank. Appreciate your tip, Mike. You should check out Mega Weapon. 10 million total supply, fair launch, and about $26 million market cap. P2E out this Q1 and staking ETH rewards when Certi K is finished. 85% now. Appreciate your tip, Bobby Baggins. Mega weapon. Oh, up 30% today. What's the volume like? Only 196,000. That can be manipulated pretty heavily. Oh, I think I remember this. This looks kind of interesting. I like the art style and everything. Yeah, I'll keep it on my radar, Bobby Baggin. Appreciate your tip. What are my thoughts on Telos? Um, interesting, you know, scaling solution. They've created a EVM compatible blockchain, you know, with EOS. So all these other ones, you know, are EVM compatible, just straight copies or um, bridges. But, uh, yeah, they created it with EOS technology. So, pretty interesting. And, yeah, rank 205. $307 million market cap. Not bad. Hey, Joel Garcia. What's up, brother man? 
Chico, you know the Poyos crew has to get in on the live streams. Of course, dude. Can you give an, uh, give us an update on Omen Clima? What do you expect from them in the future? Great for, grateful for, you, for all you do, man. Have a great weekend. Um, I appreciate the tip, man. Um, Omen Clima are the same. I did sell out a little bit of my Ohm um, before the big, big crash at about 400 bucks. And then I am still holding all my, I mean, not all my own. I still hold over 50% of it. But I'm um, still believing the project. If I didn't believe, you know, I would have sold it all. Um, but I'm still holding strong with that ohm. And then climb I haven't touched. I'm still holding. Because I do... I'm really big into the environment and sustain, sustainability. So that one I'm holding on to for a long time. And I do see him doing well, of course. I mean, we've had a lot of, you know, FUD going around. Wonderland, what happened with Wonderland is just testament to what Ohm has created. I mean, Ohm is the OG. Ohm is, you know, the future reserve currency of DeFi. You know, that's what their goal is. While Wonderland time, you know, showed that, yeah. Don't go with the forks. Go with the OGs. Appreciate your tip, Joel. Will you play Minecraft with me, Moonsama style? Oh, I would love to. Yeah, we should do it on the stream. Yeah. I don't know on your stream or my stream, but yeah, we should get, <laughs> get together and do it Moonsama style. I like that. I haven't played Minecraft Moonsama yet, so to do it with you for the first time, yeah, baby. Appreciate your tip, Riri. Albo T. Oh, and I need to actually cover Moonsama. Moonsama. I got some of the assets in game as well. This is for the Minecraft. I do have myself a uh, Moonsama too character. I just haven't, you know, played. So here soon. Here soon. Albo T, what's up, Chico? Good to see you, man. You look good. Thank you. Can you give your thoughts on Cryptex Finance, CTX, and their T cap, total crypto market cap? They just got listed on Coinbase. Hmm. And thanks for everything, man. No, thank you for the $20 tip, man. I really appreciate that. Um, crypto, Cryptex Finance. Cryptex. When they get listed on... Oh, this, the T-Cap token. When they get listed on Coinbase, I didn't know that. Yeah, so this is just a token, T-Cap. It's one token for the entire crypto market cap. You invest in one token, you're basically investing in it all because it's based off of the total crypto market capitalization. I've heard of this. It has a good team behind it. Do. Preston Von Loon, big time OG Ethereum is in there. It's an interesting token, actually. You know, just be able to invest in one token, you get all of crypto. I'd like to see it integrated more into newbie applications, though, because that's a token for newbies, you know. If you're more, you know, in tune with the crypto markets, you know, you can make better decisions on this token versus that token. So, I'd like to see it integrated. Coinbase, if Coinbase has it, that's great. I didn't know that. Do they have Cryptex token or TCAP? That's the question. Maybe I can look at that. CTX is on Coinbase. Ah, damn you. Yeah, they need to get TCAP on Coinbase. That would be big.
And thank you, Albo T. I really appreciate your tip and question. Hey, Brandon Walter, what's going on, my brother man? Hey, Chico, what are your thoughts on DFly? It's an Algorand ASA coin. DFly is like one inch for Algo. Finds best X trades to trade on. It's a mobile app only in beta right now, not even listed on CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap. Um. It really has a lot to do with Algorand and them building up their own ecosystem. Um, like this guy says, DeFi app is basically the coin base of Algo. So if you know Algorand is able to push out a strong ecosystem based off ASA coins, then yeah, DeFi could be big. Um, but a lot of that factors into Algorand. I personally don't hold Algorand. Appreciate your tip, man. Brandon, very kind of you. Um, my thoughts on Centrifuge short to midterm. <laughs> I'm really bullish on Centrifuge. One of the f only projects out there bringing RWAs into uh, DeFi. I mean, it hasn't been getting absolutely wrecked compared with some other tokens. I mean, yeah, one year. Doesn't look the greatest from two debt bucks to below 60 cents. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, I would really like to go work eventually for the Centrifuge team. Because um, it's one of the things, I mean, crypto companies I'd like to go work for eventually. Because I know, I don't know if I can be a crypto YouTuber forever. I'd like to try to put my passion and skills out into the crypto economy as more of a promoter for products to get implemented and rwa is getting those implemented across the board something i could be passionate about energy web definitely project i could see myself at zade k what's up man chico check out vesta finance was on copper launch and is killing it today also jones dow is launched um yeah jones dow looks pretty good Added dumper down to, but it's rebounding. Short chart. I mean, it hasn't been out that long. 24 down to 12, and it's rebounding. So Jones Dow may have bottoming out. And Vesta, another. Ooh, yeah. Doing well. It's on Arbitrum. It's layer two. No interest rate. Hmm. I'm going to have to read how that works. Sounds interesting. Came out of the copper launch. Doing some significant... Or is that just... Yeah, that's $4 million. Yeah, doing some pretty good volume right out the gate. Sounds like a very interesting concept too, Zade. Thank you. Good tip, man. MTT, Chico, would you be able to check out DFSG token? It's a gaming platform. DFSG. DFSG. DF Social Gaming. Oh, it's a Binance project. I'm not going to be a big fan of Binance. Most of these are just P&Ds. Rocket League, FIFA, COD. Oh, these are tournaments. Okay. Uh -oh. Well, I'm not a big fan of Binance coins, personally, built on Binance Chan. Binance Chan. This looks like it's being watch traded to Boo Hickey. And yeah, that's usually what the Binance charts look like. Jesus. It's ugly. Not a big fan, my friend. Appreciate your tip, but it's just my personal thoughts. 
Andrew B, can you take a look at Chromatica Chrome? It provides limit orders for Uniswap. Low gas swaps, no slippage, no front running. The team is doxxed and won a chain link hackathon. Interesting. Chromatic Chrom. Powered by Chainlink and built on Op. Not bad. Hmm. Looks like Uniswap. Check out the chart. Yeah, not bad chart, actually. Probably got some low volume, though. Yeah, really low volume. I'll keep it on my radar. It's a low cap that possibly, you know, could be big. I'll definitely keep on the ra radar, Andrew B. Especially the chain link hack fun. Oh, where am I at on these? Metacron, there we go. Chico, a new trend is coming. Combine Metaverse NFT with DeFi and savings. A project called Mover, Move. 1,513 market cap has been working on this for over a year. I like that. Move. And is it called Mover? This is another low cap. Let's look at their chart. Mm, not the worst looking chart I've ever seen. Low, low volumes though. Wow, there's nothing. Hmm, smart treasury, that's kind of interesting. Only 964 bucks, smart treasury is covered. It's an interesting concept, but um, doesn't look like it has built much of a community. They're going to have to move on that, um, and a community, aka user base. Yeah, it does sound interesting, though, Cornick K, and I appreciate your tip, man. Jelter Buzin. Hey there, Chico. Would there be a way to borrow 15,000 pocket tokens to set up a node by an external node operator and pay the loan back with the earnings? I mean, yeah, it'd be possible, but I don't know of anyone doing that. Maybe that's a business idea right there, my brother. Jelter. Not a bad idea, in my opinion. Pocket. Very bullish on Pocket Network, you guys. Um, like Chainlink, middleware solution. Um, Chainlink is more for connecting blockchains to the outside world, while Pocket is more about connecting applications that live in the outside world to the blockchain through RPC calls. Very bullish on Pocket. What do I... And I appreciate your tip, Delta. <clears throat> Robert Robert Tacos. What do I think about magic on Arbitrum next B A Y C? I mean there will always be a next, I mean but I don't know about this run. I mean Crypto Punks came out. Is this it? I like that they've integrated DeFi with NFTs. That's cool. If 
part of Olympus Odyssey. That's cool, too. Let's see. Magic. Rank 383. That's not bad. Not bad volume. I may have to check it out, man. I like it. Appreciate the tip, Rover Tokos. JRD32 Stir. You are amazing, too. And you're from Canada. A Canadian $20 tip. What part of Canada, my friend? I'm a goofy noofy. That's my blood. If you can't tell. <laughs> goofy noofy. You should look at DeFi Kingdoms. Jewel token. I will look at it for one reason and one reason only. I should have bought it when this first happened because it had a big run. But there's only one reason I want to look at this. And some of you guys who have watched my live stream, you know why. I love that music. That, in one of my li your live streams a month ago, um, month and a half ago, I didn't even know it was playing for like the whole time. Because <laughs> I didn't have my headphones on, and it was just ripping while I sit in your chat and no one can hear me. Oh, crack me up. Your thoughts on ACA? Been a lot of fun. Is it the real deal? And I appreciate your tip, Dr. Puff and Snuff. But yeah, that's a um, gaming type crypto. <laughs> it's a banger, dude. It is a banger. That is... They did great with their choice of music. There's no doubt about that. I got a boost in, view in viewers, too, because of that. Should I do it again? Oh, man. Should I do it again? I jumped back from 1.2k live viewers to 5,000 or 1.3. I guess I better do it again. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't do it again, guys. I won't do it again. I jumped back down to 1.2k. Um, ACA, RRFF. Appreciate your tip, man. ACA. Akala. Well, you really want to see the DeFi, you know, applications get out with Akala. There's no doubt about that. Um, it's time. It's time to see what they're building. Liquid staking. See, that's one of the things we want to see. Like most of the things that were coming soon. Not really much you can do with Akala. Um, but yeah, want to see that stuff come out. Want to see DeFi on Polkadot? Bira, yo Chico, check an email I sent on 126. I bought you the BC Leaks Crypto Unstoppable Domain on Polygon as a tip because you've helped me and the fam out tremendously. Thanks again. B Rug, no, thank you, man. Um, what do I need to get you? I definitely will check out the email. Um, probably just a Polygon address. Uh, and I appreciate that, man. BC Leaks, and it is coming, you guys, this month, hopefully. I'm supposed to have a chat with my dev or dev team about, you know, some updates on the front end, but the store is ready. That's been one of the things that's hold, been holding us back. The front's ready. I mean, yeah, I hope the markets take off so we can launch it in a bull run. That'd be freaking amazing. TP. Thoughts on Ubisoft joining Adara and their gaming links from Microsoft in their recent purchase. They're also linked to Amico Brands, Sandbox, and Epic Games, Unreal Engine, via Hashport's Governance Council. Hedera's moving. Um, I think I saw that news. Ubisoft and Hedera. Ubi. Come on. Coin Gecko. Oh, there we go. It's being slow.
Yep. That came out yesterday. It's gonna be interesting. But I'm not, I don't dislike Kadera actually. There's some connections to um, Energy Web, Dovu through Hedera. And actually, there was some news that came out for Dovu that definitely connects Dovu to Energy Web, which connects them back to Hedera. Appreciate your tip, TP. Thank you so much for the 20 bucks, man. They're also linked to Amico Brands, Earth Games, and Hat. Hmm. There's going to probably be some big stuff coming for Hedera. Scotty P. Crypto, thank you again for the tip, man. At the Poctopus on Twitter has a rocket pool type pool for Parsh no nodes. He did an interview with Kinsey a few weeks back. Seems like a good guy, not financial advice. Yeah, the Poctopus, I follow him. I think I do. Yeah, we follow each other. I didn't know that. Yeah, Facebook got crashed hard yesterday. It looked like a shat coin. Well, it's actually on Crypto and Culture's channel, Crypto Kenzie. Must be that video, I'm guessing. The Pocket Network. Mm -hmm. Appreciate your tip, man. And yeah, if you guys want to learn about that, I'm sure it's this video. So check it out. My thoughts on Revest? Uh, bullish. Very bullish on Revest. They have some big things coming up here soon. Um, FNFTs are going to be massive. And they are getting pretty involved with Phantom. Oh, $34 million locked inside FNFTs? That's not freaking bad. I mean, for a $5 million market cap, over 34 million locked in their product. <laughs> User 007, don't get too excited when Riri comes to the stream. Oh, don't worry, I won't. I might be a little um, starstruck. No, she's going to be starstruck. No, I shouldn't. I'm pretty normal, dude. Pretty normal. A little weird sometimes. But you gotta be weird. Luke Stevens! Thanks for the $5, man. No question or anything. Just throwing out the cash. Hey, Chico, could I have a look at Project Bison NFT? It's a crypto investment fund that functions via NFTs. Seems interesting, and your honest opinion would be valuable. Um, yeah, it's just an opinion. But, uh... Project Bison NFT. That doesn't sound like it has a token yet. Probably going to have to look that up on Twitter. I'm pretty sure this is it. Art Finance Crypto Market Treasure Through NFTs. Art, finance, and gaming. And yeah, they integrated DeFi with um, NFTs. Why 
one share of the project Python. Yeah, it looks kind of interesting. It's an interesting concept. I just don't like that we have fully anonymous devs for such a young project. I mean, it's okay to be anonymous as long as the project has, you know, built out an ecosystem. Brand new projects that are anonymous, it's kind of worrisome because people like to pull that rug. I don't know how long these guys have been out. But it does, it's an interesting concept, man. Just be careful. Um, not financial advice, but... Just like anything in the world, you never throw all your eggs into one basket. Yeah, sprinkle a little here, sprinkle a little there, and things that you know interest you. Thoughts on Ultra platform will be released this year finally. I'm excited. Ultra is up there. They have some partnerships with some pretty big gaming entities too. Yeah, no, Ultra has been on my radar for a while, guys. Hey, Kelis and Dujar. What are my thoughts on Rome so far? It's interesting. I mean, out of all the Ohm Forks, there's only three that, you know, anything. Or Ohm, of course, is one. Climate Dow is two. And Rome is because they're bringing gamification into it, into the equation. So Rome, yeah, definitely interesting. Yeah, only three out of the ohm ohm forks that I would ever, you know, look at personally get invested, involved with are, of course, Ohm, Clima, and Rome. Only three. Andrew B. Can I take a look at Chromatica? Chrome. It provides limit order, low gas, no slippage, and no front-running swaps for uni. Docs team, and they want a chain link hackathon. I did already look at this one, my friend. I appreciate your tip. Um, and I said it looked kind of interesting. I like that, you know, chain link hackathon winners are involved with Chainlink. They're built on top of a couple scaling solutions. So yeah, it did look pretty interesting. But I'd like to see more, more um, use cases than just, you know, a DEX per se. Hey, Alex Bullutt. Chico, it's been a while since I saw you live. Stay well. It has been a while. Um, I didn't do a live stream last weekend, but the weekend before that I did one. And yeah, this is the first one in a couple weeks. Good to see you too, Alex. Appreciate you tuning in. Luke Stevens. Hey, Chico. Warp has a soft date set for V2, February 14th. They're considering using own bonds for protocol-owned liquidity. What are your thoughts on this? Um, bullish. I mean, I'm excited for Warp. Oh, yeah, they're up 27%. People know the launch is coming. I mean, with everything, you know, with the launch, you buy the rumor, sell the news. Um, would it be buying within the next couple weeks, probably? Because it's probably going to take a little dip or ruski. I mean, you may have one more week left of where you could probably get a good entrance. But, yeah, they are integrating with Element to provide... Um, compounded interest rates for assets um you can do it with element you just need technical knowledge warp is providing a user friendly ui to do it so i'm excited to see what comes out of it and if it is game changing of course warp could possibly even pump after the launch um but yeah integrating with ohm is big too 
excited about that. Radio Kaka. What the heck is Radio Kaka? 104 Arbiter Zen Sing sign. Radio Kaka. And it's rank 174. How have I never heard of Radio Kaka before? I mean, in my opinion, they got to change their name. And they're built on Binance Smart Chain. What the heck is this? I do not know. I got some games. How is this rank so high? <laughs> I do not know. Radio Kaka. <laughs> It's just, no, oh man, that just sounds like caca. I'm not a fan of Binance coins, man. But that's weird. 369, wise mind, crypto. Hey, Chico, have you checked out Rainmaker games? Looks pretty slick. Rainmaker. I haven't. I haven't heard of it. Got a chart real quick. Eh. They had a launch in December, not the best launch date. Where the world plays to earn. Beta platform coming coin to Chemico Brands is on there. Merit Circle. Hmm. When's it coming? I mean, they got some good partners. I mean, a lot of people must be partnering with Animico Brands. Best with the best. Alameda's behind it. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I'd like to see the beta. That's for sure. Personally, I don't like when teams raise before they've built. But I know building gaming ecosystems is hard. You got to have money to do that. But personally, I'd rather like to see something built before. Is Uni Token have potential to a hundred? Um, if we go on another run, it's a, it's possible. Man, are we going to break 40,000, 41? Let's get close. 10, 11 bucks right now. I mean, a 10x would be pr asking a lot. But eventually it will, in my opinion. I mean, Uniswap is still doing absolutely crazy amounts of volume. One point seven billion for V three and V two is probably still doing a good amount. Two hundred seventy eight, three hundred million. So yeah, basically two billion between the two. Vincentelli Nikita, thanks for the Roan2499. Appreciate it. Shout out to you. Emmanuel Marie, hey, it's you again. What's up? Thank you for looking at Acoin. Uh, where do I see Stellar in the next five years? Happy you are healthy again. Thank you, Emmanuel. Um, Stellar. I mean, I like it more than Ripple, personally. Um... But I don't know. They haven't built out a strong ecosystem on top of them. I mean, nor has Ripple. 
But Ripple's getting going with, uh, what's that freaking coin? Can't remember that. Thing that's going to allow them smart contracts on Ripple. Jesus. And I thought that was coming out last year. Or Stellar. Stellar rank 31 still. Can't remember what it's called. But Ripple could have a pretty robust ecosystem once that comes out. General Collins, thank you so much for the $5. And no question, just 5 bucks. Appreciate that, man. Anthony Monroe. What's up, Tyler? Any thoughts on Pegaxi? Pegaxi. PGX. It's a race play to earn on Polygon. Maybe the new AXI? I know Polygon. I mean, I don't hate on Polygon as much as I used to. I still don't personally like them. But it is being utilized, and there are stuff being built on top of it. If CoinGecko works, dude, it's not letting me search. There we go. Pigaxi Stone. Pegasus Bloodlines. How do you play? You got to have a racer, though, it looks like. Interesting they got their game out. That's good. I'd like to see the gameplay, though. Oh, that was that. I mean, if it's just race around a track and you don't get to do anything, that would be, uh, how do you decide who wins? Is it just random? Or if you're controlling it, that'd be pretty good. Large Borb, are you interested in privacy coins like Dash or Monero? If yes, which ones are your favorite? There is only one true privacy coin. Monero. It's one that the government agencies hate because they can't crack it. Everything else they've been able to figure out, they can, uh, but they still cannot crack Monero. So it is the one true privacy coin. And privacy is probably going to be one of the biggest, most valuable things here in the future with state surveillance. So in the short to midterm, privacy coins aren't going to probably do pretty very well um because governments are going to come after them but in the long term probably one of the most valuable crypto assets out there jelter buzan tipping again thank you so much borrow me the funds for the 15k coins there has to be a way to secure it with a smart contract or an nf nft from revest PM me. You want me to loan you the funds? It's a business idea. You should run with it. I mean, a lot of stuff can be applied to crypto ecosystems. I appreciate the tip, Jelter. Go coupon. Hey, Chico, keep rocking. Thoughts on Goldfinch? I haven't heard of it. Crypto, real world. This is like freaking centrifuge. Like almost exactly. They have a senior and junior. Crunch, borrow is back. Yeah, this is pretty much exactly like centrifuge. 
Interesting. I didn't know there was another one out there. Andreessen Horowitz backed them. Interesting. What are they rank? 890? What's Centrifuge ranked? 412? Yeah, that's, that's how it should be, in my opinion. I mean, I think Centrifuge should be higher. But this product, project that's value and use case is going to slowly but surely eat into the crypto markets. Probably Goldfinch, too. Danielle M. Thoughts on h and Haven't seen you cover it. I've never been so bullish on anything. Anything. Helium. I've actually wanted to cover this one because it's interested me. Yeah, it's super interested me. Yeah, I, I need to look into this because, I mean, creating wireless networks decentralized is freaking cool. And I'd like to see this deployed across cities everywhere. I mean, let's get us off the centralized actors and onto decentralized ones. World NFT Worlds. Uh, and again, I appreciate your tip, Danielle M. Oh, whoa. I missed someone. Brian Guzman. Gang, gang, Chico. Thoughts on QSP. Make sure I didn't. Or no, see that you tipped twice. I didn't miss you. Hey, Chico, thoughts on trade stars? Thank you, Pablo. I didn't almost missed you. <laughs> I typed in your name. Pablo Token. Hey, Pablo. Did you make a token? Oh, man. Trade stars. Really low rank. Probably not going to have much volume. Only a little bit. On the D DEXs, centralized exchange, it has a decent amount. I mean, this I've seen this before, and it looked interesting, but again, I don't think they have it built yet. Yeah. Talk in my email. I mean, interesting concept, but I want to see it built. Okay. Now I'm to Anthony Monroe again. What's up, Tyler? Any thoughts about... I think I, I answered that one already. I appreciate your tip. If you tip twice, Anthony... I just might have skipped some people. Yeah, I think so. Gang, gang, Chico. Now we're to Brian. Thoughts on QSP. Is that quant stamp? Yeah, quant stamp. I, I mean... I just never really got the value behind their token. I get, you know, you need um, auditing, smart contracts. But yeah, certicate, quant stamps, I've never, unless like audits are paid for in their tokens. But a lot of people use quant stamp and certicate. I mean,. I need to see how... Oh, run a node? 
on stamp node? What do you got to render a node for? I'm going to have to look maybe deeper into Quant Stamp. Been around for a while. They're an OG. And then, there we go. Da there were Daniel M. Thoughts on h and T. I I did talk about that. Um, definitely want to look into it. And then, World NFT World for Joseph Jocelito. Up 55% today. Hey there. What's this built on? 408,000 volume, but it's only on a centralized exchange. MXC. I'd like to see it on some different. creating different worlds I mean I would like to see it on different exchanges interesting concept different worlds world manager but yeah different exchanges they're only on the MXC Connor Crowley what are your thoughts on strong block nodes I think I've talked about these I like that you're easily able to make some nodes. I mean, it's a good idea, actually, because um, nodes are, you know, setting them up are, is difficult. Like I said, I want to set up, you know, pocket nodes. It just takes a lot of time. If there's, you know, a service that can make it easy, very valuable in the crypto ecosystem. Appreciate your tip, Connor Crowley. Jason Oregon, Pochi Inu, what's your thoughts? Did a 9,000x in one day. Oh, another Inu? Gosh dang it, Pochi. Pochi Inu. I don't see Pochi Inu. <laughs> My thoughts on it is it's just a meme coin probably getting P and D'd. Pochi Inu. I, I just want to see this. Pochi Inu. Pochi NFT is a puppy that introduced concepts of growth and decay into solidity mark, mark contracts. What? Pochi? I want to see your website. 100 billion. That's yeah, just another meme coin. Just another meme coin, my friend. Evan, what's up, my man? SEC Commissioner will be speaking on a webinar with Energy Web about ESG data next week. Why is it still $6? Manipulation so obvious. It shouldn't be. I mean, Energy Web's probably one of the most revolutionary crypto projects out there. I mean, it goes all the way back to OG 2014 Ethereum days. Gavin Wood and team were talking about an energy market. And yeah, it's going to be big. Hey, Danielle M. Again, that you like H&T. Love the project, solid team, and insane growth. I Yeah, H&T, man, it's interesting me. There's no doubt about it. It's been on my radar for a while. I just keep forgetting to look into it. Is it its own blockchain, though? That's the only thing that I mean. Markets. I'm going to check markets. Yeah, it's its own blockchain. But it's on enough of the big exchanges. It'll be fine. Appreciate your tip, Danielle. And eventually, I would like to set up one and get Chico. 
Hey, Tyler, can you look at Jones Dow? It's built on top of Dopex. I didn't know that. Um, I've been hearing some good things about Jones. I've been Jonesing. You son of a... Farms are coming soon. They got their vaults going. Only one. Not too much APY though. I'm going to have to look a little bit deeper into how it works. But I like Dopex. Whoa, JL. Thank you for the 20 Australian dollars, man. I appreciate that. Carlos Rangel, join us in Alchemist Radio and Discord Fridays at 1 p.m. Discussing the Proof of Alchemy contest, and we start another segment, Desert Island Miss, Miss L2. Excited for that. Um, come on. Errors. Coin Gecko. Slacking lately. Alchemist is seriously undervalued too. 2582, that's a steal. Rank 727. Uh, Miss Layer 2, that's exciting as well. Still hold um, a good majority of my mist. Mustafa, what's up, my brother? Chico, check out Looks Rare. Token name is Looks. OpenSea competitor. Much of the supply was airdropped to OpenSea users. Paying out yield and platform fees in ETH. Check it out, bro. I actually did a segment on it when it came out. I was one of the only YouTubers to talk about it. And yeah, it's taken some good market cap from... Um, or not market cap per se, but um, market share from OpenSea already, a vampire attack, you know, and they are, they're building an ecosystem, and they got a token, people like a token, that you're able to stake and earn fees from the actual trading of NFTs, so I'm excited about this one, it's done well too, since it came out, I mean, of course it had the initial, you know, drop, Pumped up to you, four, then it dropped, got all the way up, and it's, yeah, I mean, that's a great chart. Dan, Chico, would be amazing to get your view of this gym, Orica.io. They are founders of sharing royalty. NFTs share royalty with charities. Um, I'm not going to go to their website. I'll check out... Uh, BNB gross and charity. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm guessing this is BS. Maybe it's not, but Usually when stuff is on Binance and charity involved, it's not good news. Ooh, they do have a token. Boo. Low, low volume. 2,000 bucks. Eh, I don't know about that one, my friend. Any news on Robonomics? Uh, not lately. Well, they still got pretty good volume for how low of market cap, only nine million. 
They got their um, parachain slot on Kusama. That's big news. But Robonomics is probably one of the most advanced development teams. Um, they've been working with Ethereum since way back in the day. I mean, they initially built Robonomics on Ethereum. Ohm's future. It looks good to me. I mean, I think it's bottomed out pretty much to where it's going to. Um, we're near treasury value. And same goes with Clima. So don't see them getting hit that much harder. But it, future looks bright for Ohm, in my opinion. <laughs> Embatter virus. No. Hey, Chico, do I think Clima is dead? Or do you see it over 1K? Um, I mean, it's going to have to be a very bullish run to get back over 1k you guys i mean of course it's fallen it got overhyped came back down and then of course a bad cycle of ohm forks just getting obliterated ohm getting obliterated hasn't helped the downtrend but um back above 1k that's gonna be tough just to be honest with you My comment about Monero is false. Can you rever review Sovereign Sov DeFi on Bitcoin BTC RSK? This is built on a root stock. Yep, looks like it. Um, again, I got into this a little bit earlier. I mean, if DeFi exploits still keep happening, big, big, big old ones with Turing Complete um, EVM-based code, I mean, there could be a use case for DeFi on Bitcoin. Um, but as of right now, Bitcoin on Ethereum is bigger than Ethereum on Bitcoin. Get what I mean? Anon, hey man, good to see you. Thoughts on Vader, Darth Vader. I'm not a big fan of him, personally. I like Luke. Kidding. I'm kidding. Ooh, cool website. The father of decentralized liquidity. Hey, hey. These guys know what they're doing. Oh, it's using Curve? Oh, okay. Hot, pretty high rank already. 274. How long have they been out for? November. Had a pretty bullish December, but of course coming down with the markets. Could be finding a bottom. I haven't checked the charts. Have we broken 41K? No. Darn you. Hey, Cash Lunxington. Thanks for the five bucks. High five right back, brother. Danielle M. Tip multiple times. <laughs> Stream a little behind. Definitely check Helium Explorer. Coverage is ridiculous. I appreciate all your tips, man. Yeah, no, I'm trying to get through all these questions as quick as possible. I try to just answer everything, you know, um, as thoroughly as possible, no matter what the tip is. Resources, where is it there? Explorer. I like the, ooh. Yeah, I like this, this is nice. Don't got much where I'm from, guys. Oh, actually there is, what the heck? Who's be running these in Chico? Do I got one that surrounds my area? Huh. I'll have to run one. 
I don't even know how to read a map. <laughs> no, I do. Let's see if they got any in my area. Mmm, close, but not no cigar. You guys are like, where does he live? Appreciate your tip, man. This is pretty cool. Looks like, um, got some good coverage down in Sacramento. Dang. West, East Coast, of course, has some pretty strong coverage. Ten fun. When should I sell my ETH, Chico? Been holding strong with you over the years. Um, never. I mean, it depends on where you are. I would just stake that that shit. Just stake it. Earn some staking rewards. Live off those rewards. Don't gotta ever sell your ETH. Nay, three sixty. What's up, my man? How you doing? Drip Network. I put my hands up on my hip. Oh, it's a BSC coin, my friend. I'm not gonna like this one personally, my friend. Let's look at the chart. Whoa, this is a bullish chart. I did not expect that from a Binance coin. Decent volume, too. Nah, I'm still not gonna like it, my friend. But um, yeah, that's not a bad chart. It's got decent volume. Cuddle Finance is going strong on Arbitrum. Any thoughts? Um, appreciate your tip, Kinar. Kettle. Is that um? Oh, yeah, this is from, um, oh, why can I think of the name of the project? Oh, NFT20, um, sure there's still, no, not NFT20. But, yeah, this is the game they built. Nah, that's an ugly chart, though. But yeah, this was one of the first, uh, Muse, Muse, yeah. Um, this was one of the first games where you could take an NFT from a different project and integrate it into a game built outside of that. So yeah, it was cool. Oh, Mohammed Muaz. Thank you for the 20 euro, man. Go! Appreciate your tip. Hope you're still watching. David B. Burdett, glad you back, Chico. Do I think Ohm is dead? No, Ohm is not dead. I'm still holding. Dan, Arika will have NFT staking soon. An NFT artist can share the royalty with charities. Shared royalty will be the next fundraising mechanism. ICO, IEO, IDO, and now INO. It's an interesting concept, man. But I'm just not a big fan of the charity. I mean, I of course, charity is great. But crypto and charity has equaled anything good, in my opinion. There was uh, a lot of people use it just to get a nice look on the project. And then, you know. But, I mean, if they are creating a new fundraising mechanism, that's kind of cool. Puffs Chain, Tyler Man, glad to see you back, brother. You talked a lot about synthetics in the past videos. Any news on Bao? Um, Bao's supposedly getting out their synthetic project. Bao chicka wow wow. Forty eight million TVL. Mark cap of only fifteen mil. Oh, they got their synthetics out. I didn't know that. Or is this them? 
No, this is Bao. Yeah, it's got Bao sticky bun. I'm gonna have to check it out. I didn't know this. I'm super excited. Thank you, Puffs Chain. I like synthetics, of course. Sup, Tyler? Stacks renders all shack coins obsolete. Um, uh, not per se. Stacks looks pretty good. You know, it's a uh, Bitcoin based. blockchain where you can build D apps and stuff and there have Bitcoin DeFi Bitcoin NFTs as well but no I mean not everything's a shat coin hey hey what's up Z you demand Tyler here buy a double cheeseburger thank you so much man appreciate that tip what about shill and l block jason oregan what about shill shill token ah uh, there's a lot of shills solana I don't, i'm not a big fan of shill you know not the best name in my opinion it's like that one that kaka one <laughs> L block. I shouldn't be looking up two because then everyone's just gonna try to do that. Lucky block. Ah, uh, built on BSC, my friend. Not gonna like it. Crypto lottery where everyone's a winner. What is this just pulled together on Binance Smart Chain? That was re released really recently. Oh, David Jensen, thank you so much for the $20 tip, man. Very kind of you. Dan, you must, you like Arika. Arika is the only NFT marketplace with complete audit by Certike. Don't think they are a scam, just under the radar. Also, team is all-star, and teams matter. That is true. I'm not saying it's a scam or anything. I'm just saying I don't necessarily like when projects use charity. I mean, unless that's a, it's hard for me to explain. I don't know. I just probably have a sour taste in my mouth because of Binance's, like, charity project that's pretty much a bunch of bullcrap. And then um, a lot of BSC projects use charity to just rug pull. Inverse Finance just launched Inverse Plus. Positive sum system backed by Ohm Bond. See, Ohm is doing big things in DeFi. Might be worth a deeper dive when you have time. Laugh out loud. Thanks, Dan. Inverse. A lot of people are doing things with own bonds. Up 17% today. Seventy one TVL. What's their market cap? $40 million market cap could be a little bit undervalued, you could say. Very exciting, though. Yeah, I will definitely keep this one on my radar, man. Hey, mate, Chrome Finance just released their roadmap for 2022 today. Good project. Any thoughts? Stay healthy. Thanks, Goaty. I appreciate that. Chrome. Is this Chrome? Or is this a different? Is this one? No, probably this one. Maybe not. This took me to Stacker VC. 
I don't know which one, man. I appreciate your tip, but I, um, I hope I was looking at the right one. Crema01, good to see you back. Gelato's G-Uni just hit half a billion in TVL, over 10% of Uniswap's entire TVL on mainnet. Any competitors? Um... I didn't know it had that much TVL. Where can you see that? Um, any competitors? The only competitor I could think of is maybe... Yeah, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Personally. Cash Luxington! Thanks for the dollar twenty-five, man. You gave me five, then a dollar twenty-five? Um, Hector Gonzalez, glad to see you making content again. Thank you, glad to be back. I've been back for over a month now. Definitely a unique channel. Yeah, one of the most unique in the space. What do you think about Neos Credits NCR for the Metaverse, for a Metaverse tip? Um... I mean, I'm going to have to look in this one because I'm a VR guy. They say they got some VR integration. I haven't heard anything about this in the VR community. Hey there, Papa Hank. So, I mean, Metaverse play, yeah, if they are able to put out a player, ready player one type Metaverse, and that's what they're advertising, player one ready. That's big, but again, I haven't seen much of this um, talked about within the VR community. Whoa, Mohammed Muaz, thank you for the Euro $20, man. I appreciate that. Cash Lunksington, hey, now he asks a question. Hey, Chico, my bro, do you think we will see a BTC rally right now since it passed 40K? Or do you see this as a trap? On a side note, do you prefer Tinder or Hinge for one night stands? Um, Tinder, because I live in Chico and no one uses Hinge. Um, not many people. <laughs> Chico's a small town. Tinder is mostly used here. Um, that's a good question. I use Bumble, too. Bumble is used not as much as Tinder, but it's used. Not many people use Hinge. And then, personally, I mean, I agree with Will Clement. We talked about this earlier. We got to cross 41K and stay above that. If we do, I do think we're going to stay bullish. Um, but we're not passing that as of right now. We're still just below it. They're teasing us. Um, so it could be an exit liquidity trap. I mean, but it's possible we do go bullish because if we look back in February 2017, last major cycle bull run, this, we had a relief rally throughout the months of February. The price almost doubled. So it's possible we do have rally back in February. But as we know, long term, down, down, down. So hoping 41K is crossed, we hold above it. Mohammed. What's up, man? Was asking about the NFT infrastructure projects you might be looking at, as well as what you stand on below. These are what I'm looking at and bullish on. Remark, I'm really bullish on Remark. Soul Phantasma, uh, Naka, Rain, I haven't heard of that one. Uos is one, I'm another one. Telos, I don't know how. NFT infrastructure. Uh, but yeah, some of the ones I'm most bullish on for NFT infrastructure personally our remark big um i like muse nft 20 as well that's you know 
liquidity infrastructure. Oh, sorry, it's Chromatica. So we did talk about that, Cody. Or Goaty. Um, and yeah, it looked pretty decent to me. Next generation decks. No slippage, no front running, no swap fees. Built on a couple layers. But yeah, so I know I'm switching back and forth, you guys, but um, NFTs, infrastructure for me, Remark, um, Muse. I mean, I'd have to do some research. I probably should make a video on that because NFTs are going to be big. They're already having a little hype cycle. Invested crypto, thoughts on chain port. Love you, bro. Go through the lows to appreciate the highs. Yes, you gotta. Especially in crypto. Chain port. Chain, chain port. Not seeing it, my friend. Chain port is next gen custodian score bridge that lets you hop across very block various blockchains at a click. Whoa. 350 million TVL. No token yet, or what? Soon, at the moment. Uh-oh. So I may want to use this one, you guys, especially if they have that much TVL and it's being used. I mean, they say they're going to launch a token. And you know what people like to do. Oh, 272 million TVL right now. Interesting. Looks like a competitor to Hopper. Nice little tip, man. Thanks for the tip. I like airdrops, and they're probably going to airdrop. Have you researched Elon Goat? What is that? Sterling Hearts, what the hell is Elon Go? EGT team is docked. They're building a 30 foot statue of Elon. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is just a ridiculous crypto. What is going on? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I have to look at this. It's built on Binance Smart Chain. But just because they're building a. A giant thing of Elon and delivering it to him. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, where in... I just wanted to see if they really build this thing. And drive it to him. That's... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, crypto, you sterling harps... I don't like it's on Binance. Oh, boy. Is Phantom FTM a good time to buy? Um, Phantom, I'm not going to say the token is good, but Andre Cronia is still working on solidly. And um, the 20 projects that um, got some of the NFT airdrops, I would be looking at those, not to invest in, but to utilize just in case they airdrop the solidly tokens to the users. I did a video on this, not this week, but last week. Jason Oregon, what about FCON? Oh, Elon statue. That's <laughs> Space Falcon. Um, probably just another quick game they're trying to build. Metaverse Gaming. Oh. I like that thing, that's for sure. Mm, some users 
Cruisers. Oh, you can play it already? That's good they got the game out. But still no circulating or total. That's kind of scary. Let's look at that. Ugh. Ugly chart. But they did get launched at a, probably a pretty bad time. Mm -hmm. Okay, volume. Hey, Nathaniel Monroe. What's up, my man? What's good, Chico? What's your thoughts on Kilt Protocol moving forward? Um, Probably a buy zone, I'd guess. It's had a pretty rough go launch. Oh, it's up 14% today. Yeah. What's the market cap? $130 million market cap. I'm bullish on Colt. Kilt. Kilt's going to be the token used across both Kusama and Polkadot, one of the first tokens to do that. So that's very awesome. Identity layer, going to be big. So yeah, the use cases for that are far and wide, my friends. Hey, Pepe92, thanks for the tip, man. What are your thoughts on Offshift XFT? This one sounds familiar for some reason. Private DeFi, yeah, that's why. I mean, this didn't look bad, actually. I remember this one. Rank 560, $57 million market cap. I mean, private DeFi is big. Like I said, privacy. But again, these type of private tokens, especially with how the SEC is coming after DeFi, private DeFi, they're going to mm 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 but yeah, zero knowledge derivatives, ZK staking, ZK trading, zero knowledge assets. Pretty interesting. All right, I'm through all the tipped questions. Um, and I try to answer non tipped questions too. I just, of course, I'm going to answer people who tip me first. Oh, we got Luxorian Luxo. Chico Chico, I know you're a big fan of Luxo, but you know Bosan Protocol, Metaverse it is. I do know Bosan. Yeah, this did look pretty interesting. Hmm. Pretty interesting. Huh. I wonder if there's some connections with Coinbase. Because I know Coinbase is doing MasterCard. I'm going to have to keep this on my radar. Coinbase and MasterCard are partnering for NFTs. Nifty Key MasterCard. Nifty Key Boson. Huh. Nice tip, Luxorian Luxo. I did talk about Clima, you guys. Um, Clima, I'm still holding. Very bullish on it long term. Just a um, overhyped project initially out the gate. Just as all ohm forks were going, I mean, the ohm hype was big. It's calmed down, and I think we've hit the bottom for ohm and clima as we're both near treasury value. What are my thoughts on flux? Web 3. I need to look into, like, this is a deep project. I mean, if you're trying to create a new type of internet infrastructure, you got to do your research. So I'd have to look into this one. Um, Reggie Middleton and his DeFi patent in the USA and Japan. I mean, I don't believe he, someone has an... 
he probably has a patent on a certain DeFi smart contract. I mean, but you can't patent DeFi as a whole because DeFi is just a series of smart contracts. He didn't get a patent on smart contracts. He got a patent on probably a certain DeFi smart contract. Ooh, I'm very bullish on the base ledger mainnet coming soon, you guys. Extremely bullish. Of the tube, oh. I hope. What the heck? Sorry about that, guys. And, yeah. I still like XOR, yes. I still hold that one as well. All right, guys, so I think that is going to be about it for me. I've been streaming for over two hours now. And, um, yeah, I appreciate all you guys tuning in. For you who got late, we definitely need to hold above 41K if we are going to continue to push up. Um, a lot of the big on-chain analysts, Bitcoin analysts in the space, they're saying that. Um, that's what I look for. I look for people smarter than me in the space, and, you know, I see what they're saying. That's, you know... One of the best ways to DYOR. Oh, I got a couple more questions. Hey, Crypto Discover, any thoughts on the Red Village? At the Red Village on Twitter, CEO and founder of the Sandbox just joined as strategic advisor. Red Village. Oh, it's probably you said on Twitter, not on here. Um, I don't know. Looks like a game. Spooky. Spooky game. Oh, upside down cross. Oh, yeah, it's a spooky one. Spooky. It's interesting. It's going to see... It, if you've seen what's going on in the gaming NFT space right now, a lot of traditional games don't like NFTs. We're going to have a warring of the metaverse NFT based gaming and what's going to win out. I think ones that monetize, of course, who doesn't like money um, versus games that games that enrich the player base or games that enrich the game studios and the VCs and the big wigs, you know, that's how the, the normal road of things go. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a very rocky road for gaming. What is your take on Swash? Squash? I don't like it. I've never heard of Swash. Uh-oh, their app's not even working. That's not good. Uh, Ocean's the partner? That's kind of interesting. Boson's in there, too? They better get their application working. And maybe it's just... My computer... Yeah, that's not a very good chart. Dead volume now. Uh, yeah, pretty dead volume. Appreciate your tip. Organs riches. I like the dollar, man. Thank you so much. All right, guys. No, I was just starting to leave. I was just doing a recap. Um, On-chain analysts are saying above 41K. Um, is this a pump? Can we trust this pump or is it a trap? Well, I personally think we can trust it. I'm not a bear as of right now. Um, I think things are turning around, but be careful. You know, this could be excellent liquidity. It's highly possible and we could go back down. But um, we do want to see a break of 41K. We do see that and we hold. Let's trust it and could be on our way to 47K next. All right, guys, well, I appreciate all 827 of you sticking around, and I appreciate everyone who threw a tip for me. You guys are always appreciated. I mean, 
I wouldn't be here without my fans. Um, so keep watching, keep tuning in, and share my content as much as possible. YouTube has kind of hit me hard here recently. So I'd love to see you guys again. I'll see you guys on Monday. Great video regarding Ethereum Solana hack. Bad news for them. More bad news coming. It's very possible. Cheers, guys.